In Poisson lesson three, we're looking at uh, adding Poisson distributions and later on looking at the mean and the variance for a Poisson. So first of all, adding Poisson distributions. So if we've got two Poisson variables, x and y, and they're independent, um, and they both model events within the same interval of time, then if we add x and y together to get z, then z will also have a Poisson distribution uh, such that um, the z or x plus y will have a Poisson distribution with a mean that is the mean of x lambda plus the mean of y mu added together. Okay, so uh, kind of simple uh, idea when you're adding Poisson distributions, we can just add together the averages, average occurrences for that given time period. So in example one, we've got cars passing an observation point, and we've got other vehicles passing the observation point. Uh, cars have a lambda value of um, two for a five minute period, and other vehicles have a lambda value of, or um, an average value of three uh, for a 15 minute interval, okay? Uh, and we wanna find the probability that exactly five vehicles of any type pass the observation point in a 10 minute interval. So just be careful here, we've got different time intervals here. The first thing we need to do is make sure uh, we adjust everything so we're working to a 10 minute interval. So in a 10 minute interval, X would have a lambda value of four, and y would have a lambda value of two. We've adjusted those lambda values uh, for a 10 minute interval. Uh, and if we want a combination then of the of any vehicle, then we've got uh, x plus y1. So um, x1 plus y1 has a lambda value of six. And then we want to work out the probability that there were five occurrences. In part b, We've got a 15 minute interval. So again, uh, we adjust X and we adjust Y for a 15 minute interval. And we can combine them. Um, so we get an average value of nine occurrences in a 15 minute period for any vehicle. And we work out a probability that um, that is greater than eight uh, by using our calculator.